what makes you think that they will come? This is not a civilian ship you know. They will come. They always come. Captain's log USS Hood on course for Xanda 2 to help mediate a trade dispute between several worlds in the Xanda system. On board is a Federation ambassador, Helen Moore. Her duty is to mediate between the planets and reach a settlement. We expect a friendly resolution to the situation as the planets are not hostile toward one another. Still the negotiations, which begin in a week, will be tedious. I can think of better uses for a starship but we have our orders. Captain I am getting a distress signal from a planet from a solar system we are passing. It appears to be from a civilian starship, the USS Henley. Try contacting them. Navigator set course for the planet. All ahead warp 5. Captain why is there going to be a delay? I need to get to the planet. Ambassador we have a distress signal from a civilian vessel. I am required to respond. I suggest that you drop me off and then return. I can't do that. Fleet command wants the ship to remain in orbit while you are there as a precaution. Have the senior officers meet me in the conference room with information on this case. Planet Cygnus 4 is our destination. I have done some preliminary research on it. Class M. What happened to the people on the planet? According to the report they were humanoid. This planet has never been explored by the Federation. The thinking is that an environmental catastrophe destroyed it. Engineer, what kind of speed can you give me? Our ambassador passenger is already climbing my back about going there. I recommend a maximum of warp 2. There are weird magnetic fields in the area. We are currently going at warp 5. You mean we should slow down? Yes I do. These fields are causing problems with magnetic containment. Carry your turn. What do you know about the signal and the USS Henley? The signal is weak but definitely a distress call. The USS Henley was a civilian research ship. They specialized in archaeology and were probably investigating this planet. Very well. We will slow to warp 2. I want full scans ahead. We should view this with suspicion. Approaching the planet. All is quiet. Slow to impulse. Standard orbit. Scan for the Henley. them. The signal is steady and automated. I am reading 77 people in one camp and one separate a ways away. Form a landing party. We will investigate the ship first. The magnetic problems are increasing. This is weakening antimatter containment. Call the bridge. Captain, there are increasing magnetic problems in the area. They appear to be centered on the planet. I recommend getting some distance. Not now engineer. We have not even investigated the distress call. If this gets worse we could be in danger of a breach. Do what you can to stabilize the situation. Scan all systems. Report on status of the vessel.
Everything has been checked. We need to do some recharging but the ship can be flown. Report on crew complement. 78 young crew members. I cannot understand why there is a distress call. We should proceed to the main camp. One of us should stay here and continue readings on the ship and gather data. I will stay if it is okay with you. I am a logical choice. We are from the Federation Starship Hood. What is the nature of your emergency? We are requesting rescue from this planet. The ship crashed 20 years ago. I will need to discuss the situation with our captain. Lieutenant Soaks, what is your report on the planet? Are they stranded or not? I don't believe so captain. Their ship is operational. What is your explanation for this? Did they say what? No captain, I wanted to speak with you about it. It does seem inexplicable. I recommend caution. As first officer, I concur with Lieutenant Soaks. Maybe we should temporarily leave the area until we can figure out what is happening. Captain, I disagree. We should transport a few of them up to investigate why they have not aged. This could be valuable information we are losing if we leave. For now I will allow only five on board at any one time. Doctor, go ahead and do your exams. At the first sign of trouble I want them back on the planet. Hello, I am from the Federation Starship Hood. We are here to rescue you. You must leave immediately. You are all in grave danger. From whom? We have seen no danger. It is just that they are so young and their ship still flies. I will tell you the story and then you must go before it is too late. There used to be a considerable civilization here. They were decadent, and wished for eternal life. I guess we all do. A scientist was tasked with finding a way to allow them to live forever. Did he succeed? Does this have anything to do with the others not aging? Indeed it does. The doctor created energy creatures that were designed to be symbiotic with the host. The symbiont would provide eternal youth, healing all injuries and preventing disease, taking energy from the environment. In return, the host provided a place to live. So what was the problem? It sounds ideal. The symbionts quickly began to resent being slaves of a sort to the hosts, and began taking over. There was an added problem however. Although their hosts did not have to eat and only minimally breathed, they did have to take in some nourishment to maintain bodily functions. That nourishment could be supplied with a special preparation, but the symbionts were not satisfied. They forced their hosts to grow fangs and a special organ in their head to extract nutrients directly from their hosts. They are similar to our vampire legends. They are? You mean that these people are infected? Yes they are. We crashed and repaired our ship, but all of the other crew were taken over. They draw their power from the receptacle near the camp. What about you? Why did you not change? I lagged behind due to a leg injury. When I learned that something bad had happened, I got far away from the main camp, as far as I could go on a sore leg. They want your ship, and there is no way to stop them. What is the receptacle you mentioned? A place of eternal pain and torment. The people of this planet imprisoned the creatures in the receptacle, and then unleashed a global flood to destroy those who still infected the people. I ought to kill you now old man. You will soon be of no use to us, you, and your mechanical heart. We kept you around so that you could operate the equipment. We were designed to service our hosts, not machines, and we cannot let the hosts have control. Okay you are coming with me to see our captain? Both of you? The weapon is set on stun but it will kill. It could kill him, as he does not have one of us inside of him. His mechanical heart made his body immune to our kind. Oh I guess he forgot to tell you that. Now be a good lunch and don't resist. Maybe you should wait. 
their ship has not been taken yet. Not a chance old man. I have been waiting millennia for this moment. I am going to savor this. Ugh! <laughs> 